Hey guys, hello world, this is OSP, again welcome back to our second video tutorial where we are going to be handling on how to come up with this given application. So this is it, if I told you guys you have not yet happy to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. The video that we are talking about, which I have just made part one of how to make mobile money system, you will just find it here up. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can go and watch the first video which is this and you will you'll, you'll see more about it so uh, at the moment I'm not on the video let me just go back and we we start up our stuff so uh, let us just continue from where we stopped if possible so this is it make sure at least you have the first video with you so this is what we just did from our previous video uh, where we learned how to make this complete application uh, system and we try to run here and try to you come and press one, it takes you to send money. When you press one, mobile money. How about if you press two, that will be taken to Airtel money. So which is good, but does not bring any ability to, to continue. Now before we go into mobile money, Airtel money, let's first finish the, uh, the MTN user, okay? Send one, send uh, money, uh, send money, Airtel user or MTN user. I'm pick one for MTN user. So enter number. Uh, which we tested and discovered that we put that say, in value input. Then I said uh, later on we shall also discuss how to go make continue statement. If it is involved, do what? Press zero to continue. Press zero to go back. You get to call to call for a given function. You get so whereby if a user presses zero, go back. So that one we shall look later on. At the moment, let us first see how can we play around with this simple no, application. So like I've said, this video is complete for beginners. If you really have a basic code practice in Python, then I don't advise you to watch this, no? But it's also good for you to, if at all you would like to remind yourself on codes, on how to lay out your codes with the Python, it's also good practice, how to respect uh, the variables and how to find up your function. Now let's see. If I give the right number, does it end there? 87, 87, 56, 13. Good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let me check again that. I did something wrong. Enter choice. For me, instead, I enter the number. Let me do that once more, and then we proceed. One for that, one for that, then enter number 070, 44, 85, Now, enter uh, amount sent. The amount sent is 30,000. So that's it. Sent successfully to the number that. Now, let's see. If that's okay with you guys, we don't add a lot of conditions. Because if I may think, what should we add here? Otherwise, if there's no, let's now just drag this piece of code. Remember, we say that if user is equal to say Airtel, so that implies all this piece of code where we say that if this is what uh, pick this and send this, so that implies for Airtel, I just need to do this, just need to drag that code, piece of code. That's all what I need there. You get so I just need to come underneath there and I paste that piece of code just there. I meant this piece of code right from here. Don't forget, if you guys have been following me, we make it wide a bit. Uh, just right from there to here is what I've copied. And I'm just pasting it here down to this. So here, this is MTN user. So I don't need to say MTN uh, user. I'm just going to change to MTN user. Just like that, then I say enter phone number uh, like that amount amount to send insufficient fund charge blah 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 amount so if I also check back for Airtel user which will have the same functionality now so if I come and I put one for for Airtel user here and I say Airtel user which is two you will also say enter a phone number so if I put this remember the phone number I've defined it as a variable app then it will give me valid input so if i happen to come in and I test the system and i put there maybe one for that then i put two for airtel user then i put the right number 070 44 85 56 3 that's good enter amount to, to send it is that it will simply say 90 send successful to the number that now this is going to be just a short video to mind you like what to do like if you try to cross check there's no real if statements are used much here I know I used if statement so here just comment down again to mind you what I happen to cover here so this uh, one was handling 
uh, one as MTN, uh, and only one as MTN uh, mobile mobile user. So that's it. Then here down, this one I did one on us uh, uh, handling one on us uh, Airtel Airtel user like that. So that's it. So this is it. So if I just check back again, don't forget that one is for that. And then for here, it's that. So don't forget that. That's how I'm differentiating those pieces of code. This is for MTN user. And then if you guys check, I just copied and paste the piece of code. This is for Airtel user. So that guys don't know. Don't miss up your piece of code and then fail to get to know what we did. So don't forget that if you find this interesting, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you comment down and also like our page. Then if you're from Uganda, you can come in and learn this thing straight away for free. Just come in. The program for free, like I've said, for free. The one for free is going to be from 5th or from 2nd of August up to 30th August. So just come in, come in, carry your laptop, come and learn. You'll find us on ground. We shall show you how to do these things practical and we shall even find other things interesting. So if you find this video interesting for you, if you find it interesting, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you comment down below and make sure you share it to your friends. So don't go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I wish you a nice day and a lovely evening to you all. May God bless you. Thank you.